This is Patrick at Geochron, KJ7SCU, and today we're going to take a look at the Ham Radio Bundle. The Ham Radio Bundle is available as a trial, then, if you like it, as a premium layer with annual and monthly options. And it's only available on the Atlas hardware platform, not version 2 Geochrons. They're just too old, and they crashed when we tried it. There are video tutorials on how to subscribe to a premium layer here, so let's cut right to what's inside Geochron's Ham Radio Bundle. Every ham wants to show people where they've been, and Geochron replaces the old QSO pinboard by making it easy to upload your ADIF log directly to your Geochron. From there, you can modify the display to show the great circle routes, call signs, and the bands that you use to reach them. Adjust the time for the last hour, up to the last 100 days to forever, up to a thousand contacts. Don't forget to select Submit when you change the parameters. That'll let our server know that you're asking for something different. For help on how to upload the ADIF call log to your Geochron, here's another link. That same filtering feature that's available on your Adif log is also available on the live DX spotting. For me, this is where things get interesting. Geochron intercepts live DX transmissions and displays them on our Mercator projection maps. I assume you'll be using the ham map set. At a glance, you'll be able to know what's open and what band it's going to take to get there by looking at what other operators are doing right then, not just in your area, but around the world. This is really my favorite because Geochron normally inches along as the sun sets and rises in Earth time, but these connections in human time are very quick and transactional, flickering across the screen in real time. So cool. Of course, you'll need to have the internet to get on this, and our servers will update your Geochron every 10 minutes or so with live amateur radio traffic from around the globe. Next on the list, custom call sign. Sometimes we get asked to take off the Geochron logo. Well, <laughs> that's not going to happen. But how about putting your call sign above our logo in adjustable fonts and colors using the on-screen keyboard? Make sure it's big enough to be seen by all those fantastic ham shack photos. As we're putting this together, we were like, what's this? Well, to be honest, it's a little over my pay grade to explain it thoroughly here, but here's a great online explainer about maximum usable frequency. Briefly, the ionosphere is strongly affected by solar light, and this is why our mechanical clock was so useful back in the day before there was such a thing as a computer monitor. But now, with the help of Andrew at KC2G and ionospheric radars from around the world, Geochron is taking a quantum jump on a digital platform to show you the MUF on a 3,000 kilometer path before your signal punches through the ionosphere and becomes lost in space. If the MUF shows a high reading on the path towards your target, that's good. Lots of electrical activity will carry your signal. And a good technician can use this information to select the right band and antenna to propagate their signal far, far away. The MUF layer is shown in a topographical overlay and as a heat map. If you'd like to ping satellites in your spare time, this is for you. AMSAT's list of amateur radio satellites are shown here in two categories, FM and linear. You can edit the list as you wish, show its path into the future, altitude and speed, and select one satellite in that category for its apparent horizon. And the closer you are to the center of that circle, the more likely you can communicate with that satellite. Now, don't forget, all trackable satellites are shown under the Live tab as well. But as you know, some amateur radio satellites died a long time ago. And some people complained that they didn't know which ones were real and which ones were space junk. But the AMSAT satellites on this layer are actively relaying signals for you. Got a contest coming up? Overlay a maidenhead grid on the hand map with a resolution of two digits, in bright or dim. If you've ever hung out on amateur radio websites, you might have seen these tables before, North and South Hemispheric Aurora Forecasts, and Solar Terrestrial Data, courtesy of Paul Herman. 
live solar image, open and closed bands, and some very technical data that is, again, over my pay grade. And if you're wanting to plan a trip to Mars, say, and you need to know the position of the planets relative to the sun, well, the Geochron will show you which way to point your rocket. You could show all these data widgets or none of them. In December of 2022, Geochron added some new features to our ham radio bundle, whisper and FT8 propagation, geocentric location, and color selections for the AMSAT satellites. Let's look at FT8 and whisper first. Now there is not enough space even on a 4K screen to show all radio traffic, especially with FT8, but you'll see plenty of activity in these modes to give you a complete picture of the bands that are active across the globe, color-coded by meter. Plus, the FT8 and Whisper displays are dynamically updated about every 15 seconds with animation that will draw your eye to the newest transmissions. In this configuration, you're seeing FT8 propagation, AMSAT satellites with selectable footprints, solar weather, planetary position, the Aurora forecast, simultaneous UTC and local time, all on a ham radio map. We've also brought a common feature request to this update, geocentric user location. Put your location in the center of the Geochron 24-7 and then let the gray line travel across the display and watch the radio traffic flow around your position. Lastly, we've also given you more options to select the colors you want to see, like for the AMSAT satellites, so that they contrast with other colors on the screen. You can also enable FM and linear satellites at the same time now. You can combine these with any other layer on the Geochron 2, like weather. And with the ham radio bundle, Geochron has reached the point where if you turn on all the layers, the display is too busy and the computer can have a hard time keeping up. All the ham stuff is no problem, but if you add weather and then earthquakes on top of that, and then SpaceX, uh, yeah. So here are some suggestions to keep everything running smoothly. Obviously, don't turn on all the layers at once and update your device with the latest software version. We're always making improvements. Turn off unlimited layer downloads in the system menu, so the Geochron will only ask the server for the layers that are currently being shown. Get the newest hardware version of Geochron. Each one is faster than the last. As of this recording, late 2021, the best is Atlas II. And we're really all about support around here. We want you to be happy, so email us if you have any questions at support at geochron.com. Dot com. Geochron is about the most photogenic, cool thing that you could add to a ham shack, and it's a great way to explain to folks what you're doing in the middle of the night. It's the Ham Radio Bundle from Geochron.